Man, I have such a huge adrenaline rush that I just need to call someone. Huh, who do I call? <gasps> I know who. Hello? Who is this? Yo, Justin! Oh, hey, Tony, what's up? Hey, man, we gotta do something wild. Like pooping in the neighbor's front lawn? Um, no. What about going out to twerk a little bit? Because you know I can do that good. What? No! No! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, God, no! Oh, wow! What about going to a party and getting fucked up and getting some ladies? Eh, I'm not a partying kind of guy. Oh, really, man? Fuck! Well, that fucking sucks. I'm just not a partying kind of guy, but I have something even better than going out and partying. Even better than pooping in a neighbor's yard? Um, yeah, even better than that. Alright, what is it? Dude, let's be cops. Um, isn't that illegal? No, well, at least I don't think it is. Alright, if I pretend to be a cop... I'll promise you one thing. Can we stop by and get some Domino's pizza? I'm really hungry. Yes, buddy, we can stop by Domino's pizza. Yes, I am in! Let's be cops, bitch! Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited right now. Thank you. Let's do this. Let's be cops. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review Let's Be Cops. Let's Be Cops stars Jake Johnson and Damon Wayans Jr., the two guys who are also in the popular comedy series on Fox, New Girl. Now, I do watch New Girl. I think it's a very enjoyable show. It's really cool to see the two of them work together in that show, but in this movie. So, I was really interested in Let's Be Cops because, yeah, it looks stupid. We're all aware that it looks stupid, and I can understand the people that aren't interested in it. So, me and my bro went to go see this movie together. Now that I've seen Let's Be Cops, it was fun. Now, it is funny, but to me, this is more fun then it is funny. Now from the two guys that are both in New Girl together, do they still have the same amount of energy that they have in New Girl? Yes. The two of them have really great chemistry. They're very funny together. And when you're watching them on screen, it really feels like they are best buddies in real life. And that is always such a joy to see when you see actors working together. There are some moments that are very stupid, but I just can't help but laugh at it. The film has these aspects with the crooks after the cops. And I gotta say, the storyline surprised me a bit because even though this is a comedy film, it was actually pretty scary. Like, yes, these two pretend to be cops, they're idiots, but you actually see how scary being a cop can be and the movie kind of shows you that cops really aren't so bad. Yes, there could be some very corrupt ones in the world, but we could also get some very genuinely good cops. Andy Garcia, yeah, he actually got me scared. His character, the way he acted, just wow, impressive. He brought a very great screen presence. Good job to Andy Garcia. I'm not familiar with this girl's name exactly. I think Nina Dobrev is is that, yeah. But she plays Damon Wayne's junior love interest. You know, she plays the very beautiful girl. And I found her character to be very... I thought the actress did a really good job. Rob Riggle plays a cop, yet he was more of the more serious one. There were a few times where he's like the jokey kind, but for the most part, he actually had a serious role. And if I have to be honest, this is the best performance Rob Riggle has given. I really cared about his character, especially with what he did in the finale of the film, despite what happens. This is a comedy film. A comedy film. Yet, it has certain moments where I felt the suspense, where I felt a little scared, and you could kind of see the point of view on cops. At least from my point of view, 
That's how I see the movie. Now, there are a few flaws with Let's Be Cops. Like, I do have to say that there are moments here and there where it's a little repetitive. There are many times throughout the film where Damon Wayans Jr. and Jake Johnson, they like slap each other. The first few times it's funny, but after that, it just gets really old after a while when they keep slapping each other like every five minutes. There was this scene with the hooker. I'm just gonna say that Jake Johnson and Damon Wayans Jr. were inside a hooker's apartment. Just without spoiling anything, that scene was just very awkward. It was very cringeworthy, and it really wasn't necessary. And the film does get a little predictable. You could predict where certain moments are going to go, and you know how the film is going to end. Overall, Let's Be Cops is a lot of fun. It is a funny movie, but to me, it's more fun than funny. I also got to mention, Keegan-Michael Key from the Comedy Central show Key and Peele. Yes, I watched this show, I love it, it's hilarious. But anyways, he surprisingly appears in here as this Jamaican guy and while his role isn't that huge, he was flat out hilarious. Let's Be Cops gets three out of four stars. It was just a very fun time at the theaters, in my opinion. I would like to give a special thank you to Justin Watches Movies for being in that intro for this movie review. He's a very awesome guy, awesome channel. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description below, and I'll leave a link to his Let's Be Cops movie review so you can see his thoughts on the movie. I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!